Uh, I want to show how the surface of mass forms, and mass forms can be volumes, but they can also just be surfaces. In this case, we have a we have a volume that has multiple surfaces. Uh, I want to show how these can be panelized, or they can be divided up into different patterns. So if I select the surface, you see at the top right, I can divide the surface. And if I look in my properties palette, let me drag this over to the right, make it a bit clearer. The property palette shows that there are actually different patterns available for dividing up the surface. You should try one or two of these patterns. In fact, if you turn on the, uh, the shadows here, you'll see the effect of the patterns. But I can pick my surface and I can go in and I can pick a pattern triangle bent. Um, the ones that say uh, that, that look like a checkerboard pattern are panels where not every cell in the panel is filled, just the one that's got the, uh, the, the, the black pattern. The ones that um, don't are just every cell will be will be filled in. So what I want you to do is I want you to pick the one that says rectangle. And if you look at the properties of that rectangular pattern, you can see that you can either have, and this is both, this is shown in two locations. It's shown on the properties palette up here where you can either specify a number or a distance, but it's also in the properties palette where you can decide uh, how you want to do this. So I'm going to assume that what we want is a, a panel that's five by five. So what I'm going to do up here is with the pattern selected, I'm going to click on distance and I'm going to change the value to 5 feet. I'm going to click on distance and I'm going to change the other V direction to 5 feet. To make it a little easier for you to work in the project, what you'll see is that you can, you can turn off you know, the direction of a panel in one direction. These are like toggle switches, the U grid and the V grid. You can turn them off to see you know, what the, the spacing looks like. Um, I'm going to leave them both on so we can see what the surface itself is, is like. Um, so we've now got a fixed distance of 5 feet by 5 feet. The justification, if you, if you, if you click off the U-grid, right, the, then what is left is the V-grid. So what I'm thinking is that if I click off the V-grid and click on the U-grid, that would say beginning because <coughs> you want the, uh, the you want the bottom of your panels to be on the ground as it were. So if I change that to beginning, that'll make sure that the pattern begins at the beginning of the surface, which was down here with the sketches, r rather than centered. But because it was modules of five foot, you're not seeing a difference, but. I'm, but that's the, the, the rationale behind the justification. On the V direction, um, if, I, if I said centered, which is what I want, this is going to let leave me with little um, slivers of panel on the end. So the pattern has been centered on the overall area, leaving these little uh, partial panels on the outside, which is exactly what I'm trying to create. <coughs> I'm now ready to, to actually create a, a panel to go onto this surface. So if I go up to the application menu and I say create me a new, this would be a new family and there's a specific family for creating a curtain panel pattern based objects. So the curtain panel pattern based actually has in it the same uh, patterns that we saw on our surface. So there's not there's not multiple patterns with triangle, uh, hexagon, whatever, there's just the one pattern. If you needed to change it in here you can pick the pattern and you can go and change it, but it, it's got rectangle as the default. You should recognize these as being adaptive points, one of our first 
exercises that we looked at, which means that these are kind of special because you see if I drag it off the plane here, it, it continues to maintain that connection. These, and these adaptive points can be any place in space. Well, what if I just made a quick change to this? If I, I pick the four reference lines that are running around here, and I say create a form, just create me a solid form, and I get two options. Do you want a flat form or do you want an extruded form? So I'm going to pick the extruded. Now let's save this and just call this um, panel extruded. So what I'm doing is I'm saying save, go to my uh, class folder, under uh, here, and let's call this sample extruded form. Now what I can do is I can load this into my project. So what I'm going to do is say load into project and it shows under families and under uh, curtain panels, sample extruded form, just so that you know that it's in there. How you access it, if you pick the pattern that you did, had before, the rectangular pattern, and you use this drop down arrow, you'll see that it's actually now listed as an option underneath the rectangle here. So if I click on that, this is the result. Now remember that what I've got is a curved surface that the forms were excluded, ex extruded from the face. 